Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 7 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, uh, before I get started, I'm just going to quickly mention uh, that the phone is locked using pattern and also obviously Google account. And I'll also add that I do actually know the unlocking uh, pattern. I'm mentioning this because uh, the way we're going to be unlocking is using a pattern. So I'm going to show you the pattern that I'm going to use for the process right now. Just because drawing that pattern right now will give me wrong pattern answer, right? So this uh, exact pattern that I'm going to be using throughout the video as a way of bypassing this phone will, well, right now is not working, obviously. So there we go. I'm going to try it once more just so we can see. Again, same thing. It's not unlocking the phone, which is good, at least for now. Anyway, uh, to get started, uh, you want to, if you're at the very beginning of the setup of your phone, do progress through it till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. Connect to some kind of network, as you can see, I have already done so. And then scroll down to add new network. And then in SSID, just type in anything. Doesn't really matter what you type in. It just matters that you, it matters that you can select this text and then select copy. And then click on this share option. From here, you're going to select uh, Gmail. Now, for me, it automatically opens it up because I have already signed into my uh, Gmail. Oh, technically not Gmail, it's Yahoo to be more precise. Now, let's see if I can get back to it, so... Okay, so normally you would see page like this. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options. We have Google, uh, we have Outlook, Hotmail Live, uh, Yahoo, and some other ones. The first one, uh, no bueno, doesn't work. Uh, it's Google, if you try to use it, uh, you will immediately get this page. So obviously this one, it's not working. Uh, now the two that uh, I think work would be Outlook, Hotmail Live and Yahoo. So choose whichever one you want. Uh, sign into them. Uh, for Outlook, Hotmail Live, you can also use your uh, Google account if you have like Google account linked to Microsoft, I believe it's kind of like this. So obviously Microsoft allows you to log in with uh, domain as gmail.com. So it could be used right here. Anyway, uh, once you connect to some kind of uh, email address, you will be taken to a page like this. And in here, simply tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. Then in, let's see. There we go, there's the search bar. So in the search bar, you wanna type in M-O-R. This will bring up a suggested option, write in Morse code. Click on the video. And once it loads it, uh, you'll have the name of the video at the top. You want to click on it. This takes you to YouTube. Pause the video and swipe it down and select your account icon, which is the little like guy right there. And choose settings about Google privacy policy. And then add in the search bar, or actually before you click on the search bar, you need to select uh, the accept and continue and no thanks just to get access to the browser. I've already done so because this is the second time I'm attempting to record this. So that's why some of the things might just look a little bit different. Uh, the first time I did mess up the bypass. So that's why I'm recording it the second time with this kind of changes. Anyway, in here you want to navigate to hard reset that info uh, slash bypass, which I already have it right here uh, because I did navigate to this website. When I click on it, you can see the domain right here. So that's what you want to type in. Uh, you will get the pop-up for consent. Just select that consent and then swipe down to the last option right here, which is the screen lock set menu. Click on it and let's select pattern. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be using this kind of pattern, which didn't work before. So let's just try it. Next, repeat it, confirm, nothing. Repeat, draw, next. Repeat. Stops working. That's fine. I'm gonna back out once. I'm gonna click on it again, and do this once more. We basically keep on repeating it till it, till it actually sets it. Which there we go. As you can see, it now changed. 
So from here, keep your device unlocked while it's on you. Uh, let's see, I'm actually gonna check what I need to do next because I haven't actually gotten to this part before. So let's see. Mm. Where is it? So there is our verification pattern once more. So let's draw our pattern, boom. And would you look at that, it actually unlocked it. So from here, we can finish up the setup. So just choose whatever you want at the moment. Uh, it actually doesn't really matter what we select, just because, whoop. just because the device technically is still locked. So skip as much as you can. So once you have access to your home screen, let's navigate to our settings application. Scroll all the way down to system. Reset options, erase all data, factory reset. Click on erase all data. You'll need to confirm your pattern once more, which is the one that you have set for the bypass. And then click on the erase all data once more. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna be doing this on the video just because erase erasing the phone right now uh, just does a lot of nothingness that doesn't really show well on the camera. It's just a factory reset of the phone, which is a lot of black screen. And once it's finished, we'll be then presented with Android setup screen. So once you have your setup screen again, uh, at that point, your phone will be fully unlocked and you can set it up however you want. Uh, that's kind of why I'm not going to go over it just because once you press on this button, the bypass is then fully finished and you can and expect everything to behave normally. So anyway, with that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on the new Pixel 7 Pro and also on the 7 one as well. Uh, so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.